digital romance TV. Hey folks, how are you? It's Michael Fiore <laughs> and wiggly arm Laura Blake. We, she, we, she's like the kung fu action uh, with another video for you. Today's topic is he won't commit. Should you, you give, give him, him an ultimatum? ultimatum? No, no, you really shouldn't. Ever. I talk about this in uh, Make Him Beg to Be Your Boyfriend, available on Amazon for three smackers or free if you have Amazon Prime. And uh, no, ultimatums never work. And there's a reason. Now, it's actually possible Why? to give someone an ultimatum and have them say, okay, fine, and get into a relationship with you. But they're it's not, not a relationship really, you want, though, no, is they're it? They're not really in it at that point. Right. To be committed, to be actually committed, somebody has to choose to want to be with you. Correct. They need to wake up every day and not feel trapped and not feel tricked and not feel like, hey, I'm only in this because she forced me to be in it, but to feel like I want to be here. And if you give an ultimatum, then they will not do that. Right. Right. So the alternative, of course, if somebody won't commit is if you want something committed and they don't want to commit to you, you move on. Yep. And that's not an ultimatum. You're not moving on. You're not like threatening. You're not saying, well, if you aren't willing to put a ring on my finger and commit to me or be my boyfriend or whatever the hell it is, I'm going to have to go find somebody else. You just say, well, you're not interested in commitment, so I'm going to go start dating again. And you don't make it this big dramatic thing. You don't right. make it a big problem. You simply make it a fact. And then that will cause him to consider, well, do I want this person to be mine and only mine or not? Right. And he might decide, yes, he does. Or he might decide, okay, that's fine. And if he decides that he doesn't want to step up and be committed to you at but that the point, most important part about yeah. that is that you have to say it in a way and actually follow through with yeah. the fact that you are going to go see other people and also you're not doing it as a ploy. And you can't hate him if he doesn't, you know, come yeah. chasing after the train you like in some 1940s movie. You have to be completely done and at the point where you're saying, I can let this go because this person is not interested in me. Yep. And you can even say, I really, I, really, I really like you, I enjoy spending time with you, but I'm not getting what I need or what I want, so I'm going to go find it somewhere else. Yep. And again, not a threat. Not a, People can say that's playing games. It's not playing games because, because you're, gonna you're do going it. to actually do it. That's because the important part. if he doesn't want to commit, he's not going to commit. And if you try to trap him, I mean, I've seen the, how to trap a man kind of thing. Like, well, I don't want to be trapped. Um, it's going to blow up in your face at some point. It might go along decently for a year or two, but eventually he's going to feel like he's in a cage and he's not going to want to be there anymore. And you don't want to keep a man Committed in a Committed relationships only stay committed when both people want to be there. Want to be. So there you go. Ultimatums suck. Don't do it. Uh, if you have any stories about awesome ultimatums that backfired or even worked, go ahead and put them down below and then go to digitalromance.tv for more videos. Bye. Did you know there's a three-step formula to make a guy fall desperately in love with you? Go to digitalromance.tv forward slash CHH to learn a simple method any woman can use to capture a man's heart and make him love you forever. Again, that link is digitalromance.tv forward slash CHH.